It's really hard to deny things when it's caught on a live stream. A YouTuber was recently live streaming during a flight when his viewers started informing him that Itzy's Cheryong was apparently near him. He didn't know who she was at first, but once he figured out she was a member of Itzy, it was said that he started singing their songs, pretended to be speaking with JYP on the phone out loud. You could then see Cheryong moving seats, as I'm sure this was making her extremely uncomfortable. Well, obviously, this garnered him a lot of backlash, to which he then had to come out explaining on his blog that he didn't harass Cheryong, that he was in the lounge when his audience told him about her, which is why he started asking if Itzy were more famous than this person or this group. That was when he realized the girls may have heard him and changed their seats after they made eye contact. According to him, he also asked if she was a celebrity, but right when he tried to talk to them, their manager stepped in to block him. He ended it by saying it would be very difficult for him to cause a scene in business class like he was accused of, but apologized to Itzy fans who were uncomfortable with him comparing them to another group. Although I have a funny feeling that it was more than just that. As of right now, the only response we've seen from Itzy's side is the footage of Cheryong changing her seats. We're going from one live stream to another because for whatever reason, Ive Liz's weight is always being talked about. The most recent example is a screenshot going around during their Japan concert, even though from other fan camps and perspectives, it doesn't look as drastic. Well, the only reason I'm bringing this topic up at all is because during a recent live stream, a fan asked Liz how she was feeling due to all the unnecessary chatter about her weight. To which Liz answered, I'm okay now, I'm always happy thanks to our fans, and that it doesn't bother her much anymore these days. While that's good to hear, it's also sad because I can't imagine how hurt she was when the comments were affecting her. I mean, it's gotten to the point where if Liz uploads photos that don't match the stills or media footage that everyone spreads around, she now gets accused of photoshopping her pictures. We're also currently seeing accusations being thrown at Exo Suho. Yesterday, Day, a stylist came out on Instagram accusing a certain idol of stealing 300 pairs of shoes worth around $77,000. They wrote, you better give back every single pair. It's been over six months since you said you would. Just buy them with your own money. They also accused this idol as someone who only acts like a nice person in public. Speculations then found their way to Exo Suho, who apparently has an extensive shoe collection. The rumors got to the point where SM Entertainment felt the need to come out, denying that this has anything to do with Suho and are preparing to file a complaint for defamation. The last update we have about this is from insiders alleging that the stylist is actually falsifying these allegations as revenge against Suho as someone who used to work for him. If that's the case, I doubt we're going to see an apology anytime soon. However, Elle magazine did own up to their mistake involving BTS. The Hong Kong version of Elle magazine recently released their March cover starring Jimin. Well, in their cover story text when introducing Jimin with his fellow group members, only five members were mentioned, excluding V and Jungkook. Luckily, this was caught early by fans, resulting in the online edition of the story being quickly edited, though nothing could be done about the physical prints that have already been sold. L came out acknowledging their mistake and apologized for the oversight. Before we get into the positive news, sorry about the voice, I've been auditioning for Music Show MC, but for real, how beautiful is this? I love it so much. Speaking of magazines, it makes me really proud to see Jisoo becoming the first Asian solo cover artist for Vogue France. Can't wait for her solo debut. And I also can't wait for EXO's officially confirmed comeback this year. But in this new video we've been blessed with, we didn't have to wait long to see the guys together again for the first Congrats to Stacey for becoming a group that has now sold collectively over 1 million albums. Also, congrats to Pixie on their second debut anniversary and to Wuja Sonya on their seventh. And even though it's only been a day since the last video, we've already had a few more official Korean comebacks and debuts, including 5050, who have such good music right now. Finally, in a previous video, we talked about ATZ's Hong Joon chipping his tooth during a concert on tour, but had to wait until they go back to Korea to fix. It. See, I finally understand how he's able to deal with it until then because it looks like this is just something he's grown accustomed to. <laughs> 